And that hat is dirty. Well worn. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I was literally just the other day thinking to myself, I wonder when I'm gonna get my next Hunt Vault box. And it just arrived today. So we have the latest coming to us from Hunt Vault. Monthly subscription box. It's got outdoor gear, hunting gear. Um, I think they actually, I don't know if they do fishing gear in this one, but they're starting a fishing gear box as well, I think. So let's take a look and see what we have in this month's box. All right, first up valued at 40 bucks, we have this case from Pelican. I don't know if Pelican was doing like a sale on wholesale or something, because I think I got this same one in like tan from Battle Box, but it is a nice, a nice case. Let me see if I can open this easily. I kind of an awkward and angle on camera. So inside, all padded, you can cut things out in there for whatever you want to store inside. Lots of ways to lock this thing up. You got an option there for a, uh, a what do you call it, padlock there. I thought they had other ones, but at least two ways. So this is valued at 40 bucks. Pelican makes great gear. I mean, you can tell as soon as you, that's loud. As soon as you touch it, this thing is super sturdy. So it isn't waterproof. It is weather resistant. It is, what do they officially say, crush proof. So you can stand on this thing. Um, but it is, um, it is not uh, made to be like something you keep in your canoe and it falls out and it, you know, it's underwater and it doesn't leak. It will leak at that level, but I'll keep the general weather out. You know, we got rain or snow that's fallen on it for a little while. They did throw in the box this cool little Hunt Vault uh, family and veteran owned sticker. Item number two is from Smith & Wesson. See if I can open this up without butchering the box. It's just a little uh, little flipper knife. So that's what the knife looks like. It's kind of rubberized on the outside. Flipper there. Nice blade. Doesn't say anything about the steel. I'm looking at my notes over here. It says this steel exhibits extreme toughness and excellent edge re retaining capabilities. I had to look up to see what it is. But it is a cool little knife. I do like that color. Lanyard hole. Liner lock. And you can open it with the thumb stud or with the, uh, the flipper on the back there. Next up here we have a knife from Buck. This is the Rival 3. Good looking knife, got a back lock there. Gonna be tip up, right hand carry only, thumb studs for deployment. You gotta flick it a little bit harder I find just because of that back lock. Nice long blade compared to the, uh, compared to the Smith & Wesson, definitely longer. Um, in the marketing for Hunt Vault, they don't put down what the, um, what the steel is for this guy. It's not the end of the world. I'd like to know what the steel is. Um, that affects how much I'm willing to pay for a knife, but it's got like a um, very durable plastic um, handle there. So it's a nice size knife. You know, you could definitely see being out in the woods, you could, you know, cut up some food while you're out hunting. You could do some, some prep in camp. You could do some carving. Definitely uh, for, for me with large size hands, it's a decent size and, uh, and feels comfortable in hand. So. That's the buck, and that is called the 366 Rival 3. This is valued at 31 bucks. Next up, we have a t-shirt. This is, it says Freedom Glider there. Just looking at the note, again, it says, New Hunt Vault's Wild Animal Apparel Collection. This is a limited edition Freedom Glider t-shirt. Features an original graphic from Lightweight Ultra Soft, made in Nashville. I will give it to them, at least they're consistent, because this active antimicrobial hand and face spray is valued at 30 bucks as well so i don't know a ton about this type of spray um but it's they said it's using hospital hospitals proprietary doctor recommended clinically proven medical grade all right next up here we have grapplers and these are for your eyeglasses or your sunglasses weather resistant secure uv protected extra durable extreme strength basically you put these on your glasses you know on the end and uh so you can hang around your neck or they don't fall off if you're say out in the wind or the rain or something like that so that's valued at 16 bucks. I'm looking at my little notes, which are up here. 16 bucks, yeah, I guess that's that's fair. 16 inches as far as end-to-end -end length of that cord. Um, the next thing after that is Craig Morgan's God Family Country Album, valued at 15 bucks. Um, you, gotta, you gotta like the music, but 15 bucks is about right for a, uh, a CD. Um, well, they do have, if you're somebody who likes Craig Morgan, that one's signed by him, which is kind of cool. And then, um, they do have some information about the active skin repair thing I was just showing you before. Last item in here is probably one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite for this one. It's the Poly Striker Ultralight Fire Steel. This is from um, Exotac. I work with them. 14 bucks value for this. I would say this is uh, that's a that's a good price for this guy. Um, it's got the scraper included, which is built right into the handle. It's got the Fire Steel. This is some sort of um, 
Again, basically like a high, high durable plastic. So it's super lightweight, made in the USA. I, there's not a ton from Exotac that I have not tried out and liked. So it sounds like I got like three negatives in that sentence. I like pretty much everything that Exotac has put out. Everything I've tested gets a thumbs up. So this is definitely a win to have this. If you're a hunter, camper, whatever it is, it's nice to have something um, to be able to start a fire even if the weather is bad. Yeah, as I'm wrapping up here, the uh, video is shutting down and the humidity is going up. So I'm gonna close things out and let's hear your thoughts and your comments in the comment section about this month's Hunt Vault Elite Box. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.